Good morning. How are we all doing? Hope you like that last little video. It's just an introduction to where we are and what we're doing. But today's one is a little overview of Wold Farm. I think it's a camping and caravanning club listed site in Yorkshire. It's right on Bempton Cliffs, pretty much. It's really close. It's uh, from where our van is parked, which I'll show you in a minute. It's about six to ten minutes walk stroll to the actual edge of the cliffs and puffins it is brilliant it's a nice uh, site it's beautiful green it's got a farm next door to it. it's a working farm and uh, it's just beautiful yeah so a lady just come out and spoke to me um, obviously I've got permission to do this video from David He's the guy you will get in contact with when you book up. Smashing bloke. I came here for five nights, got here, realised what a flipping peach this place is, and booked another seven at the moment. Might stay longer. But it's so much to do around here if you're into wildlife and photography and walking. It's just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Anyway, I'll show you around the site and uh, have a little walk. I'll show you what's about. So anyway, that's the entrance and the farmhouse and the reception. Okay, reception's about there. I'll put the tariffs above. There's a uh, A4 sheet in the window about the tariffs. I'll put that up now. And uh, people that run the place, really, really helpful, lovely people come out make you feel very welcome as soon as you get here and we are post lockdown now so we're allowed to travel we've got our own facilities but there's um hand gel and sanitizer everywhere it's uh it's really covid friendly it's really good anyway so this is the farm building okay this is really nice and that there there is the start of the track that goes down to the bempton cliffs now, if you come in any other time, these are the ladies and gents' toilets. Now, there's another couple of ladies and gents' toilets next to where we're pitched up, but they're closed too at present. So it's only if you've got your own settings. That's really, um, your own facilities. Now, it's really, really warm today. I can't believe how warm it is. It's bloody lovely. Really, really nice. It's really calm, no winds, beautiful. It's a lovely, peaceful site. There's washing up facilities. Okay, that's this is what they call the top field. There's a couple of glamping pods there, us, and then another toilet. There's the grey waste. If you want to get rid of your grey waste there, and this bit here is the chemical toilet disposal so this is your black waste to stuff out your toilet so nice and simple drain cover there and hose there and hand sanitizer it's nice and clean no smell whatsoever i suspect it goes down into a cesspit but it's a warm warm humid morning and there's no smell at all it's really really clean so this is the top field as you can see it's all farmers fields all the way across here so this is the top field, as I say. Now, over the back there, there's another camping field. Uh, it's on a bit of a wonk, so you need your levellers. But this top field's pretty safe, pretty flat. And the beginning of the other field, which is there, along that side, they're pretty flat as well. There's flat pitches. It looks more wonky than it is. It's flat around the edges. So it's not so bad. These are all pitches. And they're not letting out as many pitches as they normally do for the social distancing thing, which is really good. It's very peaceful here. We've had some lovely, lovely little views of wildlife. Yeah, and them two there, that's the glamping pods. I'll show you in them. And that's us parked up next to it. So we're sort of sandwiched in between the glamping pods. They're like little gypsy baggers. 
nice and comfy inside. I've got like a put up bed. And there now. Little and a bunk bed thing in there, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. That's really nice. So there's two of those you can rent out. I think they have bell tents here as well, under normal circumstances. There's picnic benches everywhere, that's great. There's one next to Gladys. There's our old wagon. And these are another set of toilets. These look new, these do. But they're not open at the moment due to COVID restrictions. It's just easy that everyone has their own facilities and they can keep it clean. There's no cross-contamination of anything here. You're sort of left to your own devices. They come out, chat to you. You pay over, over the internet by a bank charge and then that's it, happy days. So that's the footpath down. I'll put a little bit of video up later down now, but that's the footpath down to the cliffs. There's another place over here that I'm going to do a, a video on, and it's called Dane's Dyke. And it's a nature reserve, like a wooded nature reserve. So we're going to go and give that a go in a minute, once I've finished doing this little walk round. Okay, so there's all electric hook up here. It's really nice. As I say, there's loads of walks around here, so if you're into walking and birding and photography, you're, it's like a dream site. Okay, that's the top, that's the bottom field. So that's basically a great big field. Really nice. There's drinking water here. And there's drinking water at the entrance. You can fill up with. But yeah. What about that? Nice and simple. It's very quiet. 10 o'clock is the cut off time for any sort of loud talking. They've got a little sign for that. So. You'll have a nice peaceful stay. And these are all uh, hookups. And they've sort of left a little dark, I don't know if you can see that I'm coming up on camera, but it's a dark line in between each pitches. And they're pretty flat. It's that middle bit is a bit of a dip, but the rest of it is electric hookups all the way around the outside of here. These are pretty flat. There's a guy here who's got, not even got a chuck up. As you can see, they're all pretty flat. Got a little row of vans there. And then they go around the edge. Spot on, eh? There you go. A little bit of a video to show you around. But yeah, cliff walk, 10 minutes max. Then the end of that track, over a stile, through a few sheep wandering around in a field then you're on the uh, cliff edge it's about from there it's about a 30 minute walk from the site to Bempton Cliffs RSPB reserve so not far at all it just feels it's got a nice countryside feel here we've got a right little prime spot here and there's a guy who works here called Steve very helpful very knowledgeable of the area he'll come out probably and uh, have a little chat with you but um, he sort of said well, there's electric there you might as well go there so that's a flat as a pancake that is I was basically backed in got my old spirit bubble out and there I was sorted so I hope you like that little video it's just a quickie to show you around the site and uh, I'd Thoroughly recommend it if you want a nice, peaceful time away. It's really lovely. So not not too many people here. You know, there's a few people down there, but not really seen, not really seen anyone. Really, just keeping ourselves to ourselves, having a nice time. But today's really warm. Really, really warm this morning, and it's only what's the time? Half past nine in the morning. Walking around in t-shirt again. Happy flipping days, eh? Anyway, Wold Farm. Highly recommended. The grounds are tended to perfection. Absolutely beautiful. It's really clean. It's really fresh and lovely. It's just really nice. It's just really nice to be here. And uh, the people that run the place are absolutely fabulous. They've been really helpful from the start. Uh, booked for, as I say, I booked for five days, got here, walked down the cliffs and thought, 
Uh, it's down for five days. I'm having another week. So this is Whitson week. We sort of booked in for. That's a little bit more expensive than normal tariffs, but you only live once. So I said it. I booked a full week, and uh, if I haven't finished doing what I want to do by the end of that second week, I'll start another one. Anyway, I hope you like this little video. As I say, you look after yourself, stay safe and stay sane, and uh, keep watching my other videos, because we've got some great wildlife stuff coming up. You take care, eh? All the best. Bye. <laughs>